how to make an interesting skirt. Skirts play a very important role in the women's wardrobes. You'd better have several skirts of different designs for different occasions. I've already shown you some unusual asymmetric skirts, skirts with frills and flounces. I hope that you like my ideas and use them. Today I would like to show you a skirt of a simple design. This is going to be a fit and flare skirt. It will be suitable both for slim and full women. Have a look at the sketch. The waist tucks are combined with the princess seams, which run to the side seams. It's not that simple. I will cut this detail and flare it at the bottom. Thus, the skirt will be fitted on top and hips and flared at the bottom. It will make the skirt more interesting. Have a look at the back. It's the same. The waist tucks are combined with the princess seams and they run to the side seams. The lower part will be flared as well. It's up to you how much to flare the skirt. You can change the design however you want. I want to pay attention to the pockets. Notice that they are round. The technique is the same as for making pockets and trousers. Nowadays, pockets are essential in garments. Today, I'd like to show you how to make a pattern for a pocket, how to make a pocket opening, and pocket bag details. I'm sure that it will be useful for you. Today we are going to make the patterns for all of the details of the skirt. I wanted to be able to sew such skirts without any problems. Let's get down to work. This is Ira's basic pattern. I need to trace it to a piece of the tracing paper. The skirt will be sewn at this creep. It's of a very interesting color. The fabric is very good for sewing feet and flare garments. You can make a similar skirt of cotton, but it's better not to flare it. You can decorate it with some interesting edging. Be creative. The skirt will be 63 centimeters long. I need to define the length of this flare detail. It shouldn't be too long. I think 18 centimeters would be enough. The length of the skirt is 63 centimeters. And the length of the flare detail? 18 centimeters. The length from the waistline to the end of the princess seam is 45 centimeters. Very nice. Next, I need to trace the pattern to a piece of the tracing paper. It doesn't take long to do it. Do not forget to sign the details. There is no need to measure or calculate anything. Outline the details from the basic pattern. This is the center front. This is the center back. There will be a seam on the center back and a fold on the center front. 
The skirt will be 63 cm long. The overcast in the flat garments should be no more than 2 cm wide. That makes the total length 45 cm. I can cut the pattern now. The pattern is 65 cm long. Unusual garments are in trend now. I'm cutting the pattern. Having a basic pattern for a skirt, the bodies or trousers, you can sew garments without any doubts. I can move the basic pattern aside. I've already traced it. Let's get down to work. Join the side seams together. Next, I need to measure and mark 45 cm down from the upper edge. I remind you that you should use your own measurements. I show you the techniques, and you can change the design however you like. I need to mark the same distance on the both details. No one can tell you what to do. You are the ones who are in charge of drawing. Draw the checkpoints in the both details. They have to match. I can start drawing the princess seams. I'm drawing a line parallel to the center front. Then, I need to draw a line parallel to the center back. Next, I need to make the lines round at the bottom. They should be smooth and beautiful. I remind you that the openings of the waist tags are different on the front of the back. Do not forget about it. That's why I'm making two different side details. It's very important. I'll try to make the line symmetric. Very nice. Mm 
Do not forget to sign the front detail and the back detail. It's a must, otherwise you would mix up the details. You know what? I'd like to draw a pocket right away. I want to make a pocket opening similar to the princess seam. I need to measure and mark 5 cm from the side seam. You can use your own measurements. I can start drawing the pocket opening. I need to measure and mark 15 cm down from the waistline. This is how big I want the pocket opening to be. The pocket will be very comfortable. You can make it smaller if you want to. As I've said, you can change the design however you want. The pocket opening is ready. I hope that everything is clear so far. Next, I need to draw a pocket back. Put your hand on the pattern. Imagine it's in your pocket. And then draw the pocket back. I don't recommend you making two big pocket bags. I'll change it a bit. That's it. I don't want to cut the side detail yet. First, I need to trace the pocket back. One of the details. Should be even to this one, together with the opening. Be very attentive. It's very important to know how to make pockets. The first detail is ready. Next, I need to draw the other one. This is how the first pocket bag detail looks like. Let's make one more. It will be a bit different. The second detail should not include this part. Let me draw the pocket opening in this detail. I want you to see everything clearly. 
This is the first detail. I remind you that you can make pockets of any shape you like. You can make them smaller or bigger. If you make the pocket details carefully, it will be no problem to sew them. Have a look here. I've made two patterns for the pocket bag details. The upper one and the lower one. This is how the pocket bag is going to look like. I can cut this piece now. I don't need it anymore. There will be the pocket stitch here. Cut this detail and throw it away. The pocket is ready. Do not remove the waist tags. They should be stitched. The skirt will fit well. I'm glad that I showed you how to make a pattern for a pocket. Garments with pockets are very popular nowadays. The front details are ready, the center and the side detail. And a pattern for the pocket as well. Let's have a look at the back. I'm cutting the side detail. Be very accurate when working with the seam extensions. It should be even in the details. The princess seams have to match in the side seam. This is a must. What should I do next? I need to flare the bottom. To do that, I need to cut this detail. I remind you that only the side parts will be flared. I'll make four cuts. I want to open each of them for 5 cm. You can flare this skirt as much as you want. Have a look at the detail. This is how the flare detail looks like. Very nice. Next, I need to make a similar flare on the other side. I need to make four cuts. If you watch my videos, you already know how to flare the details and how to alter the patterns for different designs. 
мне кажется, вы все умеете. Вы уже обязаны просто все уметь. We do not depend upon any parents from fashion magazines. Upon the flair and the feed they offer us. We can make patterns for different designs. We can sew anything we want. I need to attach the sticky tape to the other side as well. It will be more convenient to work with the pattern this way. If you want, you can trace the patterns to a new piece of the tracing paper. I do not want to waste my time on it. There will be a fold in the center front. This is the side detail of the front and the pocket. There will be a seam on the center back. This is the side detail of the back. Have a close look at the waist tuck. Due to the tucks, the skirt will fit as well. The pattern is ready. How to cut and take the skirt. And then Ira will try it on. I'd like to draw your attention to the seam allowance. It's very important to work with it accurately. The more accurate you are, the neater your garment will be. Have a look at the sketch. The lengthwise grain should be parallel in all the details. It's a must. Pin all the details on the lengthwise grain. It's very important. This topic is one of the bases of tailoring. Learn it as a rule. I can start cutting now. I'm not going to add anything to the top edge of the skirt. I know for sure that I don't need to do it. If you do, add about 7 mm here. I remind you that there will be a fold in the center front. That's why I've pinned this part on the pattern on the fold. The width of the seam allowance here is 1 cm. If you want, you can make a couple of checkpoints here. I'm not going to do it. I'm also not going to add anything to the bottom, because I've extended the length of the pattern by 2 cm. When cutting, make the line smooth and beautiful. As I've said, I don't need to add anything to the bottom. You can draw the bottom before cutting it. I don't need to do it. Well done. No seam allowance on the upper edge, 7 mm to the pocket opening. I'll show you how to tack the pocket. Look 
I hope that it's clear how to make a pattern for such an interesting skirt. It's not that difficult. Having the perfect basic pattern, you'll be able to sew anything you want. Be creative. Change the design however you like. I'll make the pockets of the same fabric. If you're going to use lining for making the pockets, I'll tell you what to do. It's not convenient for me to cut the details because I can't walk around the table. Very nice. Be very attentive in pinning the patterns. Think about the seam allowance. Have a look here. I've cut the pocket. I'll show you how to take them later. I'm cutting the last detail. The seam allowance on the center back is one centimeter. Notice that this point is raised. When the skirt is sewn, it will get back where it should be. These are the back details. I'll give them to Natalie and ask her to tuck them. There's no need for me to add anything to the upper edge. Natalie will tuck the back of the camera, and I will show you how to tuck the front. I remind you that they are absolutely the same. I can detach the patterns and throw them away. If you like the design, you can keep the pattern and make a similar skirt of a different color. Before taking the side details, I need to show you how to take the pockets. First, I need to join the side detail and the upper pocket back detail face to face. Be very attentive. Then we need to stitch the details on the pocket opening, turn them right side out and take the seam. I'm not going to do it now. I'll join the details wrong side to wrong side. This is how it should be done. As I've said, in fact, you need to stitch the details, turn them right side out, and then stitch them once again. I'm taking the details for a fitting. We'll remove the taking after the fitting. Turn the details right side up and then join the next details face to face, pin them. I need to do the same thing with the other detail. Well done.
Be very attentive. You should pin only the pocket bag detail. Do not pin the side detail. It's very important. Do everything just like I show you. As I've said, we need to pin only the pocket bag details. Turn the detail. This is how the pocket opening looks like. Next, I need to mark 2 cm below the pocket opening. This part will be stitched in the side seam. The part down from this point should be cut. This is how the pocket bag is going to look like. The lower part of the pocket bag won't be stitched to the side seam. You can change the shape if you want to. It's very important to leave a piece of the pocket for stitching the side seam. I need to cut the second pocket back the same way. Next, I'll show you how to take the side seams. It will be very convenient to do it. I can start taking now. I need to take the upper edge as well. That's it. Next, I need to take the pocket back. Be very attentive. When stitching the details, you need to be very accurate. I'm showing you the taking for the first fitting and the order of actions. You can make the pocket bags of any shape and size you want. Try different designs. Be creative. Make dresses with the inseam pockets. They are very stylish. Besides, they are very comfortable. This is the wrong side. This is the side seam. And this is the right side. I'll take the second pocket of the camera. I can start taking the princess seams. Join them face to face, pin them, and then start taking. Be very careful. Check if the details are accurate before you start taking them. The upper part of the seam is straight and the lower one is round. Insert more pins in the round part. I can start taking now. The back is ready. Natalie has tacked it off the camera. Don't hurry. Work slowly and accurately.
This is how the tech details look like. The bottom is flared. I'll take the second princess seam off the camera. And then Ira will try this get on. The flare looks very beautiful. I can't wait to see the result. Have a look at Ira. The skirt is stacked. You can see that the skirt fits Ira perfectly. Having the perfect basic pattern, it will be a no problem for you to sew amazing high quality garments. The skirt looks very beautiful. In fact, the fitting was not necessary. We could have stitched it immediately. Ira, turn around, please. The skirt looks absolutely amazing. It would look much better when it's stitched and ironed. The skirt fits Ira perfectly. The bottom is flared and it's very beautiful. The pockets are comfortable. They are extremely popular nowadays. You know that I don't like pockets. But even I do want a skirt with a pocket. I hope that it's clear how to make princess seams, how to make the flare, and how to make the pocket. I really hope that this video will inspire you to sew in similar skirts. The more skirts you have, the better. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Irina Paukste. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.